Bethlehem County Good News at 10 with your hosts, Isaac InfoFinder and Naomi Newsteller and roving reporters Hezekiah of the Hills and Rebecca of Bethlehem, bringing you all of the latest up-to-the-minute news in Bethlehem County. The Bethlehem County Good News at 10, tidings of comfort and joy for all people. Good evening and welcome to the Good News at 10, where we keep you updated on the latest happenings in Bethlehem County. Isaac Infofinder here, on with Naomi News Teller. Naomi? Thank you, Isaac. The sun is at Bethlehem County as people come from all over Jane County. The streets are crowded as people try to hurry to comply with the decree issued by Caesar. Local businessmen are enjoying more business than they've seen in many years. Our working reporter Rebecca of Bethlehem has of Bethlehem has more. Rebecca? Thank you, Isaac. Yes, the business is booming for the locals, thanks to Caesar's senses. I have a Bethlehem business manager, Sheep of the White Sheep, and here with me tonight, along with her head chef, Claudia. Thanks for being with us on this busy evening. Sheba, tell us how the census is affecting your business here in Bethlehem tonight. Wow, Rebecca, the last time our inn was this crowded was when the Bethlehem Packers played the Egyptian Bears in the Super Bowl at Bethlehem Field. <laughs> what a game! Wow! Has the White Sheep been, been able to keep up the demand for rooms here tonight? No, not even close. I wish the husband would have listened to me on expanding the inn before this weekend. Unfortunately, we've had to turn away several paying customers, a sweet elderly couple who could really use a place to crash, and even worse, a woman in labor along with her frantic husband. Wow! You sent a woman in labor out into the middle of the night with no place to go? No, I actually had the hubby bring that sweet young couple over to our stables tonight. We gave them some fresh straw to sleep on, which was no easy task in the middle of all that chaos at our inn tonight. Sounds like you're doing everything you can to accommodate your customers, Sheba. Also, Claudia, head chef at the White Sheep Inn and the inventor of the award-winning fig-stuffed French toast, tell us how this business is affecting your restaurant at the White Sheep Inn. Well, the wait is usually about an hour, and if you try to get a table this weekend, it'll be a good two to three hour wait. We're turning people away. I personally haven't flipped so many stuffed French toast sandwiches since the Pomegranate Patch Festival. <laughs> is there any truth to the rumors that the White Sheep Inn had run out of locally grown figs? Yes, it's true. We didn't run out of our locally grown figs. and had to have some shipped in from Egypt, which can't compare to our delicious Bethlehem County figs. Have either of you heard other restaurants having similar issues? Yes, I have heard of more restaurants taking even more drastic measures um, just to keep up with demand. Abel's on the Dead Sea Bay had to make an impromptu goat stew with the goats they typically had out for decoration just to feed the massive, massive crowds. Well, there you have it, folks. Bethlehem business managers struggling keeped up the demand of the throngs flocking in for the census, even turning people away. Now to sight we see every day here in Bethlehem County. Naomi, Isaac, back to you. Excellent report, Rebecca. Thank you. And after our break, a bizarre sighting in the sky by some local shepherds. <laughs> in Bethlehem County, goats that scale roofs and the commerce it brings. These are a few of our favorite things. The grocery stores that we can move in. Fish spoils and pie and old-fashioned hymn sings. These are a few of our favorite things. Outdoor productions with talent and humor. Beautiful state parks and luring consumers. Ending the fight that a greenery brings. These are a few of our favorite things.
before the lights, before the roar of the crowd. We work together as a team to make sure you have all the gear you need to show your passion. From the 50-yard line to the end zone, and all the way to the Bethlehem Marketplace, we have everything you need to show your support on game day and every day. We have all the official Bethlehem Packers gear here, ready to help you cheer your team to victory. Gear for cheer, gear for pride, and gear for play. Finally, a use for pork. Bethlehem Marketplace for all your football fan essential. And we're back. Continuing our coverage this evening, a strange story emerges from just outside of Bethlehem County. Some local shepherds say they have witnessed something that will go down in history. We go to Hezekiah of the Hills for more coverage of this phenomenal story. Hezekiah? Thank you, Naomi. I'm here with Shiloh and Rachel, two local shepherds who are watching their sheep in a field here, just outside of Bethlehem, when they claimed that they saw something like nothing they had ever seen before. Shiloh, can you tell us what it was that you saw? Yeah, Zakiah, wow, I don't even know if there are words. I mean, we were just watching our herds. There are some wolves creep creeping around outside of these hills lately. We lost poor Beulah last week when she wandered toward the edge of the field all by herself. Sorry to hear about Beulah, but back to your story. So who was the first to see this strange sky side in the night sky this evening? Shiloh was. I was distracted in getting the burr off of Bernice's hind quarters. So Shiloh, can you describe what you saw? I was looking at the beautiful evening sky when a large giant guy appeared before my eyes. He told me not to be afraid. He said they had great news for the whole world. So this shiny guy spoke to you and said he had great news? Did he tell you what this great news was? Yes, he said on this very night in King David's hometown, a savior will be born, the Christ, the chosen one. He told us that, that this would be a sign. We would find a ba a, the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. Then thousands of shiny guys appear in the sky, saying, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Amazing, what a story. Are you going to try to find this baby in the manger? Yeah, we were just heading off to Bethlehem just now. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you for sharing this amazing experience with us, and please keep us posted on what you find in the stables of Bethlehem. Will do. Well, there you have it. Shao and Rachel, two local <coughs> shepherds with angelic visitations of mammoth proportions, and it sounds like their story has just begun. Isaac, Naomi, back to you. Thank you, Hezekiah. This is riveting. We will continue to follow the story as it unfolds. Stay tuned for all the latest news in Bethlehem County tonight. We will try to catch up with these shepherds to see if they find the baby they seek with the good news correspondent, Rebecca, standing by in Bethlehem. After this word from our sponsors. <laughs> Feeling weary? Having trouble finding slumber? Is your tunic becoming tight and uncomfortable? Then you need Goat Fit. Goat Fit is a unique workout experience. Combining strength training, speed, stamina, balance, flexibility, agility, and aerobic exercise, all with the joy of goats. You're as weak as a lamb, but with Goat Fit, I'm stronger than an ass. Too small. In just two moons, I lost a whole talent. <laughs> Good sleep at night, but since goat fit, I wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Lacking flexibility? Go fit. Need to increase your energy? Go fit. Unable to put one foot in front of the other without tripping over your own sandal? Go fit. Go fit. I was trained for the Olympics and losing every race. Since Goat Fit, I can run like a gazelle. I used to be so clumsy, but since Goat Fit, I'm as agile as a cat. I feel like you shepherds since Goat Fit. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Sign up for Goat Fit today at a goat field near you. <laughs> i 
heaven is reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. to our continuing coverage of events in Bethlehem County this evening. Isaac? We have a breaking report as we follow the story of some local shepherds who say that heavenly hosts visited them while they are in fields just outside of Bethlehem. Shiloh and Rachel claim that the angels in, from heaven announced to them that the long-awaited Messiah had come tonight as a baby, born in a manger in a stable in Bethlehem. We go back now to our roving reporters, Rebecca and Hezekiah, who have met up with the shepherds again in Bethlehem. This just in. They do have more in that story. Thank you, Shiloh. Isaac. Oh. Thank you, Isaac. Yes, Hezekiah and I were able to catch up with the shepherds for more on their breaking story. Shiloh and Rachel, we're here to confirm what you've seen here tonight. Is it true that you indeed did find the Messiah, just as the angels announced you would find him? Yes, Rebecca, yes we did, and it's good enough to make us dance a little jig. <laughs> Very nice jig, shepherds. Can you expound on what you saw? We saw the star shining on the stable. And when we entered, sure enough, there was a newborn baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. We, we bowed to our knees and worshipped him. God's presence was in that place. It was a newborn baby we saw there, but we knew he was a Messiah, our Lord and King. Amazing. Well, Naomi and Isaac, there you have it. The birth of a king tonight in a lowly stable in Bethlehem. Back to you. Thank you, Hezekiah and Rebecca. This seems to be a historical night, Isaac, one that people will be talking about for ages to come. As the prophet Micah said, Bethlehem Ephrathah, you are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but out of you I will bring a ruler for Israel. Oh uh -huh. 
Yes, it certainly does appear to be a very important night, perhaps the most important night the world has ever known. We end our program tonight with words from the prophet Isaiah, words prophesied 700 years ago. Yes, words that have brought God's people hope for 700 years and caused them along for this very day. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. job you guys wasn't that amazing praise God that was